Okay, this is my uh, first mobile video. I'm going to talk about the actual value in competition. Now, I know there are some people who don't believe that there's any value in competition at all and that it's all ego. Well, I'll say this. That is true for some people. There are some people who compete just to hurt others, just to try to get ahead or just to get glory and things like that. That's not how I was taught to view competition. I see competition as a learning and training tool. And you can especially do this on a local circuit where there's really not too much at stake. Let me explain. In any art, let's say you've reached an intermediate level. You're dominating all the beginners in practice. The only people who can really give you a good run for your game are your instructors. If you're at that point, then that would probably be a good time for you to compete. Why? Because that way you could get exposed to other people on your level who can help push you to go to the next level. Sometimes it can't always come from sensei. If a student, quote unquote, loses a sparring match to someone that's supposedly senior to them, I think they can make mental excuses. They'll say, oh, well, such and such is supposed to beat me. Or like in my case, when I was taking a, um, I was taking Tang Sudo, there were things in sparring that my teacher was trying to explain to me, but I didn't really get it. I had to actually, it was one match I did, it was one brown belt match I did, where I had to actually it forced me to rely on some of the principles of, you know, just listening to your opponent, really feeling out, controlling your breathing, thinking, and being strategic and everything. I had to actually walk that out in the match. It didn't happen in class. Class did not force me to do that. Walking it out in the match against that particular opponent did. And not only, you know, the great thing about that match too, is that because we were both so close in ability, it really, really made us push, push mentally. There was actually only one blow thrown in that match. We actually clashed, but because from where he was standing, it looked like he had the superior position he got the point and I did it, and then after that, the match was pretty much over. That one match really pushed me mentally. Another thing that competition can do is that it is a good way for you to see if you can pull off your techniques under extreme pressure. Now, sometimes a sparring match can give you the pressure that you need. Sparring in class can be raised up to the level of high intensity. However, again, what if you're the only student in that class who can handle that type of intensity? Is it fair for the instructor to take away time from everybody else who's not at that level and work out with you and neglect them? No, it's not. Here again, that's where competition can come in handy. If you're competing at an intermediate or advanced level, there's not that many intermediate or advanced people who are competitive in your club, who are available for you to work with, you can go to competition and work out with them. Competition is also another way for you to get exposed to new ideas. There's a couple of things I've picked up when I was doing Tang Sudo, Taekwondo, Judo. A few moves and things here and there. I saw people doing competition that I'd never actually seen anyone either do outside of a video or a television or outside of a book. I actually got to see, oh, so that's what that move looks like in motion. And, you know, it inspired me to keep going. The competitions are also good because they're a good way for you to network with other martial artists and find out what's going on in your area. 
where I am, there was one particular teacher that I haven't had a chance to study under yet. But I found him. He's a good teacher. He's a very high-ranking black belt. He literally does not teach for money. His club is right near my job. It is free. And I would have never found him if I didn't go to a tournament and see him talking to someone and get his business information. I would have never found him. Google didn't pull him up. I'm very good at Googling and finding information. Googling didn't pull this guy up. Other people knew him, yeah, but that's because he came from their school lineage. There's no way that I would have known about him, and I've also referred other people to him. And for what I've seen so far, I've, I've sat in on one of his classes and watched. He is an excellent teacher. Okay, so those are the good things about competition. It's not all bad. Oh, one, one more benefit is that going, competing can help some people overcome fear. There's some people that are very anxious about sparring. Even if you spar with them in class, you push them, you get them going, you know, they, they stay, they're still afraid. They're still afraid. They still have the jitters. Again, co healthy competition, competition is a good way for the person to gain some confidence. Help them realize I'm not as bad as I thought. You know, even if they lose a match, sometimes losing in a competition can be good because, you know, I know some of the ones I've lost, you know, Sensei, Saboom, whoever it was at the time had been repeatedly telling me, Hey, you do this, you have this bad habit, you have that bad habit. And not necessarily on purpose, I, it just didn't sink in. Then when it, you know you get thrown or you get kicked or you get punched or whatever in that area of competition, then it's like, ha ha, you know. They don't come up in your face but tell you I told you so, they just give you that look like. Then you know and then you cover it up. Or you don't stick your foot out there so far when you're reaching for your throw or whatever. So those are the good points, in my opinion, of competition. Now, can competition be taken to an ugly, bad place? Absolutely. Are there people who train to the competition instead of training their entire art, whatever it is? Of course. Are there clubs that care more about competition than building complete, competent martial artists? Sure. Do we live in an overly competitive society that thinks that everything is binary in terms of winners and losers, even though a lot of these people sitting on the side don't have the courage to take any personal risk? Yes. Are there people who are just flat out dangerous and probably shouldn't be competing because they're psychos and, and just want to hurt people? Yeah, but. The negative types, at least in the venues that I've competed in, the negative types on the minority. And it's worth it for you to do a few competitions. I don't think you should become obsessed with it. I think you should use it as a learning tool. And once the new car smell wears off a competition, you should stop. Because it's of no more point, it's, no, it's of no more value to you. Once the new car smell wears off, or you start being overly concerned about if I win or if I lose, it's, that's when it's time to stop. Because you're not learning anything anymore, you're not having fun anymore, you're not exploring anymore, then you're just trying to dominate, and, and that's not good for anyone. So, in this proper place, competition is great. This is Cecil Washington, head instructor of the Cecil Ryu Taekwondo Club, at this video, teaching out of Temple Hills Community Center. Have a good day.